Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. In today's video we're going to be looking at my little skincare routine if you could even call it that. I typically don't have a skincare routine but you have been quite interested to see what I do. I have just bought a couple of new products so I have been using this one the exfoliating powder from Mugu for a couple of weeks now. The reason that I wouldn't do a skincare routine until I have tried and tested is because as we know my skin can be, get very angry if it's not very happy. So I have used this for a few weeks now. I haven't used this one before but we're going to use that in the, this video. Please let me know if you have any suggestions of really great skincare brands that I can have a look at that are very friendly for people with sensitive skin and allergies, I would love to know in the comment section down below. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. <laughs> I am by absolutely no means a makeup guru nor a skincare guru, I'm just someone who has very sensitive skin. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so we're in the bathroom, I have got my amla oil in my hair so it's acting as kind of like a hair mask and I have got some lip colour on as you can probably tell and I have got some Mugu eyebrow pencil on so that you can see what I would do to take off my makeup so <laughs> I feel like <laughs> to take off my makeup I literally put this on for this video because <laughs> as a lot of my friends and family will know I do not wear any makeup but um, this is a good way to show what my skincare routine would be. It is so so minimal. I must admit it is nothing basically the majority of the time. You know that I have used my ordinary skin solution. I'll put a link to the video here. I'm now going to try out the Mugu cleansing method. Um, so this is more for a deep cleanse. So I'm going to use this to take off this makeup. You're sitting on the tap, so very gently. Ooh. So I've got a damp muslin cloth. These ones are just the, the Liz Earl ones that I've shown you before. I'm a massive fan of the Liz Earl muslin cloths. So I'm just going to lightly wet my face. This water is cold and I'm not going to use any more water than I need to. Try and minimise and I'm patting it down. And then going to use some of this. Very, very gentle. And I'm just going to go pat. The reason I'm patting on my lip is because I have such a sensitive upper lip in particular so I don't really want anything that's going to anger it. And then I'm just going to go like this and lightly rub through my eyebrows. There wasn't very much that I had on anyway, but it's just to make sure that you can see something. I'm now just going to then lightly sort of drop this on my face. So, and then just pat it down like this. This cloth is also not soaking, which is really important. I then got a dry toweling face cloth. So this one is from Elemis. And I'm just going to pat it dry. And there we have it. So the most important thing is that around this sort of very very simple method is that I'm not I'm not scrubbing my skin. My skin feels super baby soft just now um, and usually stays quite baby soft. I also don't have um, a lot of spots so I don't want to be really really harshly cleansing my skin. I won't always use this to take off my makeup. I would probably just do something like that with water to take it off but I'm also making sure that I'm not applying loads and loads of water to it as I am still trying to be quite 
minimalistic after doing no moisture treatment in terms of how much water I then put on my skin. In the shower and in the bath I also use the Mugu exfoliating powder. I'll typically pop about this much onto my skin. So this will formulate into a very, very gentle paste and I will typically use that on my chin, like so, my nose. It's actually super soft. It feels kind of like clay that you're pissing on your face. So I am just massaging as opposed to scrubbing. I'm just sort of massaging it into my prop problem areas so my nose the corners of my nose really avoiding my upper lip if I rub this in that could cause my upper lip to break out immediately into oozing and weeping and then into my T zone here I don't need it across my forehead and then I do need it in my hairline and I'll only put it in these areas. Bearing in mind I will do this when I am in the shower so I wouldn't normally do this dry so I usually start washing off very fast. I'm just going to do it out here rather than take you into the shower with me. So again just patting and then again going in with the towel face cloth hmm. and there we have it <laughs> that is my very very simple if you could even call it a skincare routine I don't typically have a routine because I don't like to apply lots of things to my skin or my face that will probably be so boring and simple. This is something I probably do once a week, if that. I would use, I'd use the exfoliating powder if I had spots. I've also used it on my chest and on the back of my neck. It'll allow the sort of skin turnover to feel a bit more fresh. My skin feels buttery soft after I've used the exfoliating powder, so I can't recommend that enough. I will not moisturise now after this. The reason for that being is so that I can just allow my skin to breathe a bit and because I prefer to allow it to make its own moisture. Without a doubt though, the biggest part of my skincare routine would be dry brushing. I've spoken a lot about dry brushing on my channel, so for fear of sounding like a broken record, I will very gently use this on my face. I'm not going to do it just now. I've just used an exfoliator, but dry brushing I think is the most effective way to remove dead skin off of the face and this one is actually relatively hard. I still dry brush particularly around my mouth, it's very peely, it's very angry a lot of the time. I also think it's actually the best method to get rid of your spots. So yeah, I am the biggest advocate for, <laughs> for dry brushing, um, so that would be part of my skincare routine. I would typically do this in the morning and then as and when throughout the day. I also think it's a better way to get rid of any dead skin instead of itching. So as soon as I'm itchy, I will typically go, go with this. I'll also do it every time I've come out the shower because the itch is real. <laughs> so yeah, I love this. Another thing I forgot to mention, as you can tell, is my jade roller. I absolutely love this as part of my skin routine. It's really good for de-puffing. I love to keep this at my desk and do it every morning and night. It's really good to reduce inflammation and to help with lymphatic drainage. So there we have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!